In this video, I want to show you um, a little more advanced blending option. And it is called a blending option. It's not technically a blending mode. And it comes up in layer style. You can use this in combination with the traditional blending op blending modes. Uh, but And I will show you how to do that. But what's important about the blending options is it actually gives you a more obvious clue about how blending modes work by knocking out lights and darks and other areas. This is also the place where you actually can uh, blend up. So I'm going to start with this very simple image. They've, I've got a photograph of my friend Steve as a child over an ocean photograph. And I'll show you where this comes from. You can go to, oops, layer style is one of the areas you can find this. And the very top choice is blending options. And you come up with this fairly complex and large dialog window. Unfortunately, this is one uh, faulty area of Photoshop in my mind is that there's no way to minimize this window. Um, so on a small screen, it can be kind of annoying to work with because it takes up a lot of space. Uh, but it has an incredible number of options. Right now, we're just going to work with blending options. But before I get into that, I actually want to show you a couple other places where you can find this. Of course, Photoshop has many options for you. You can also go down here. It says um, FX, which is like special effects. Um, but this is actually the layer style window. And the very top choice, again, is blending options. But my favorite way to do this is not intuitive at all. You kind of have to know about this one. If I go over to the right side, the blank little space over here on a selected layer, and I double click, it also brings that up. And that is normally my favorite way to bring up the blending options very quick. So I'm on blending options. Notice that um, we're going to do this in a bit. This is going to show up all over Photoshop. You can actually choose a blend mode for your blending options. Uh, we're going to not do that just yet because I want you to see how this works. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and double up and add some other stuff. So right now it's on blend if gray, which is the best way to start with this. You can make more complicated choices, but we're not going to now. And I'm going to go ahead and start. So take a look at this image of Steve. There's a lot of white areas. He's in an inside room with some shadows and highlights. And watch what happens if I grab this slider here. There's two sliders, one for this layer, one for the underlying. This is another magic part of blending options. And I'm just going to grab this slider, and I'm going to move it to the left. And you see what happens. It starts to knock out the highlights. And as it goes over, it starts to knock out the, out the grays. And then if we go all the way over, it's going to knock out everything. So this is a blending option. Pretty cool. I can do it the other way. I can knock out the dark areas and let the ocean show through. Very cool, though, thing, which is that we can also play with the underlying layer. You can't do this with blending modes, but in this mode, you can blend up. So if I grab the highlights of the ocean, watch how they come up. I'm blending up from the bottom layer. Not necessarily what I want for this image, but something to keep in mind. It's very handy. And I can do the dark areas of the, of the underlying layer there. OK. None of those is exactly what I want. Let's go back and go to this highlight area. I like that effect of having the ocean show up behind. But you're probably noticing, I'm going to zoom in, that the edges of this selection are pretty crunchy and kind of annoying. Not to worry. We have a wonderful option in blending options. If I hold down my option key, I can split this little triangle so that I can actually move this blending mode spread it out so it moves very gradually from the highlights to the shadows. Much more satisfying. Much more satisfying. Let's go ahead and, oops, and see. We'll go ahead and go OK. And bring it back so we can look at the whole thing. Now, once I've added this mode, you can see that it has this little uh, this little icon here, which indicates that I've added a blending option. So this is a nice start. I like it. Um, but it still feels, it feels kind of solarized. 
there's these little white edges around the edge. I can play with, sometimes you can, you can correct this just by playing with the blending modes itself. Sometimes though, you just can't quite get rid of that line. So, and by the way, you notice I could just double click on that area again and come back into the blending modes and change them again. This is completely non-destructive. So let's actually look at our other option, which would be to add a blending mode to the blending options. And you can see now, oh, I like that. If I go to the multiply, it actually just darkens those areas and adds him in that way. I could even change the opacity of it a little bit. Maybe not. Um, and I can continue to experiment with the best ways to allow that to show through. Okay, so that's an introduction to blending options. A very, very interesting area to play around with. Oh, let's just, and, and then you can add the blending modes on top of it. There was one that I found that I particularly liked. There we go. So notice with overlay, because it's actually blending the highlights and the shadows, it's blending the grays, we get a little bit of that golden color of the um, of the waves coming through. I like that one. Okay, there's blending options. Have fun and play.